102.1 The Edge, Shauna and Chris from the B team hanging out with the very talented Ryan from Mother Mother. How's it going, brother? I'm great. Thank you. We gave away tickets this morning for the May 18th uh, show at History, and people are so excited to see you there in that new venue. We're excited to play in this new venue. We've heard rave reviews. It yeah. sounds, sounds luxurious in there. How does it feel to be Juno, Juno nominated for Group of the Year? I mean, that, that's an amazing nomination. We're very grateful. And uh, yeah, we kind of see that, that specific nomination um, as an extension beyond the band to the, to the group that surrounds us, you know, our team, the fans, truly a, a group celebration. How is the competitive spirit? The Junos always seem so polite to me, but deep down, I mean, we kind of know where Max Kerman lives. You want us to find him for you? <laughs> I mean, if anyone deserves that award, it's the Arkells. So. I don't know. I think Mother Mother's right up there, my man. Yeah, I mean, gosh, it's like it, music, art, it's so subjective, but it is an honor to be recognized. Now, with everything having been what it is the last two years, how does that feel to get out there now? Because I, I was reading something you said about how the pandemic really kind of got you to go inside. And now you've got to take all that and go outside. How does that feel to perform now for your fans? Good. I mean, it, it's uh, it's the natural order of things after yeah. spending all that time alone, pent up and doing that kind of insular work. It It's only right and proper to then share it and get it out um and you know just in terms of the newfound success that the band has walked into it's really interesting to see how that actually translates to the the live setting and and tickets sold and um and real human alive fans and, and you know and not just um metrics on on social media yeah. so that's been really positive to see how there is a through line that you know these TikTok numbers and streams does equate to real people in rooms. All right, so we talked about your show at History. Now let's talk about Massey Hall. You're going to be playing that May 19th. But this brings me to my next question. All right, other than Toronto, obviously, what's that one venue that you need to play in your life? Um, I mean, like Wembley, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it would just be so crazy to have the opportunity to fill a giant space with with music and energy like a stadium um i don't really know how people do it we've never really had that opportunity but i i would love the opportunity to to one day kind of get to that place to to fill that big of a space i think you're pretty close because to be honest my friends reaching out every single person <laughs> wants damn mother mother tickets i can't say no to more people my man <laughs> No, and you, you, you ought not say no to, to more people. <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure they buy them for you. There ain't no free tickets here. Well, we'll throw them on the guest list if they're, if they're strapped. <laughs> oh, brother, you're too kind. All right, uh, Shauna, any more questions you have? I just want to say we are just so excited. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. And honestly, people are so ready and excited to see you in person and we just thank you so much for bringing the music to us. Thank you for all your support. We are ready to uh, come and play for the people in Toronto. So thanks to The Edge for helping that cause. Juno nominated for Group of the Year. Tunes absolutely exploding and playing Massey Hall May 19th. Ryan from Mother Mother, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you both so much. Have a great day.